hello everyone welcome back to simbrai fashion academy youtube channel once again today today's tutorial is going to focus on the kimono slash and spread gown which you are seeing right there on the screen so now uh, we want to start off this tutorial so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So here I have my full scale bodice pattern, which I have my shoulder line. And you can see I drafted the full front pattern. This is the front pattern, and it's the full front pattern I drafted. I have my chest line, I have my bust point line. This is my bust point line, the whole of this line. But if you notice here, you can see I have my dart only on the right hand side where we have the slash and spread because there's no dart to this particular dress. So this is my waist line and this is the hip line or the upper hip line. Okay, so the length of this uh, blouse is. Um, I have it at uh, 25 inches, okay? Or you can make 24 inches or thereabouts. So it shouldn't be more than that for this particular dress. So I imputed my upper hip uh, measurement here. That is the quarter of my hip measurement, upper hip measurement here. My upper hip is 46 divided by four is 11 and a half. I imputed the same. And my waist here is uh, 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches. I have for here 9 inches, but for this part I have 10 inches because I added 1 inch that for a slash and spread. So we want to start off this tutorial right away. And the first thing we want to do on this uh, particular uh, drafting is to create a kimono. A kimono sleeve so the kimono sleeve right here I have my measurement here from the shoulder this is the shoulder line so my measurement of my shoulder divided by two from here is seven and a half you can see my mark and that is where I have my armhole drafted so from this seven and a half, I need my sleeve kimono to be six inches because if you look at the kimono sleeve we have on that uh, gown, it's actually not too long. So I'm making use of six inches for this. So from this six inches, I'm going to step down by another one and a half. Okay, so my shoulder drop here, I'm using one and a half inches and I'm going to connect at that point to the neckline that is the shoulder drop i'll be having for this particular kimono so now i'm going to measure the uh, circumference of my sleeve so for the kimono the circumference of my sleeve is i'm going to make use of eight inches okay or you can use a uh, nine inches for a better fit so i will just use nine inches and 9 inches actually works for everybody. So I'm keeping my ruler straight at this 9 inches. Can you see that? So I'll just use dotted lines. I'm using dotted lines at the 9 inches. And I'm going to come in from that 9 inches by 1 inch. So that is to say I have my kimono on my own bust line. So the actual kimono sleeve from here is 1 inch. Okay, if you want to get your kimono perfectly, you connect like this. You can see how I connected. So the sleeve runs all the way to this point, as you can see. All right, so once that is done, the next thing I want to do now on this dress is to connect the kimono. Okay, so there's usually this curve that connects our kimono and makes it uh, match up exactly to what we have on the uh, dress so i'll just you know blend my ruler like this i'll just blend in at that point to have my kimono sleeve so once that is done the next thing we want to do and another thing you can do for your kimono 
the length of the sleeve of your kimono okay you might decide to measure around your arm okay so if you measure around your arm say you have about um, 15 inches you can just add two more inches to 15 inches that is 17 and when you divide it by two you'll be having the length at eight and a half can you see you can see that so it's even close to the nine inches which we took after the one and a half inch drop so the main business of this tutorial is not to show you how to draft a kimono i know many of us have um, know how to draft a kimono uh, uh, dress and i have a detailed video on this channel on how to draft a kimono so the focus of this tutorial is to achieve this gown so right here i have my kimono sleeve so i'll just quickly reduce my pepper now now that i've gotten what i want so the pepper i added i'll just cut it off all right so this is what i expect you to have at this point so we are not touching this side at all because we don't have any business with it so the next thing we want to do the next place we want to open up now for a slash and spread is going to be at this point okay we are going to open up here but before we do that we also want to repeat the same thing we did on the other kimono sleeve at this point so that is to say from this point is my shoulder and i'm taking six inches as the length of my kimono at this point and then from that point i'll come down by one and a half and then i'm going to connect from my neckline to the shoulder drop of one and a half for my kimono and from there i'm going to measure nine inches as my kimono and my ruler is supposed to be kept straight with a dotted line but because the kimono sleeve laps very well when you come in by one inch so i come in by one inch okay just on the bust line i come in by one inch and my actual kimono sleeve is connected this way so that is the sleeve we are going to cut off all right people so the next is to blend up this okay if you just place your ruler to the armhole you'll be able to blend it up accordingly so another thing i can do is to also measure what i have here so i have it accurately so from here to here is one and a half and from here to here is two inches so from here to here is two inches and from here to here is one and a half so i'll quickly blend okay i'll bring in my pattern ruler and connect the two points and that is that for my kimono so we want to slash and spread which is the main business of this particular um, tutorial right away so i'm slashing and spreading you can see the that i have in here so the dress we are making on the thumbnail the uh, that is opened so we'll be able to connect our slash and spread lines so i'm going to take the length of what i have on the that now i have six inches so i'm going to uh, slash at one one inch so whatever thing you have just slash at one one inch so i'm going to draw my slash lines from here to the waist okay and i'm going to connect them like this like that to the side i mean like this like that can you see that so that is how the slash lines are going to be so remember that this side is not touched at all what we have here is the only the slashing is being done between the bust point and the waistline so now it's time for us to slash what we have this at this point so slashing what we have at this point means we are going to cut off this that so we'll be able to spread we are cutting off this that once we spread this part now and get the fullness we are going to gather it back into this 
and close, add a seam allowance and sew back to the dress. So to achieve this, I would want to cut the main bodies. So I'm cutting what I have on the hip. So actually, this gown, I would say is a skirt and blouse, okay? But the flounces are being attached to the gown and then with your press button, you press it to the skirt once you wear the skirt. Okay, so it, it uh, forms one, it forms a gown, as you can see on the thumbnail. So I'm actually taking my time to cut. So I'm cutting through the shoulder seam line kimono. Okay, so before we do that, remember the neckline has not been created. We need to create the neckline of our kimono. And this neckline we have on the kimono is actually a high neckline. So this neckline will be connected or created from this. Okay, so from here, I come in by one inch. And from here, I come in by another one inch. I'll come in with my ruler to create the neckline. The neckline, as you can see, is just right on the natural neckline. But if you want to come down a little to avoid choke, you can come down by 0 0.5, okay? So I'm going to position my pattern ruler, as you can see, right here to create my neckline. And I'll also position my pattern ruler like this to create the neckline. So you can see our neckline is created. Okay, so the neckline is created and the kimono is connected from the neckline, from this neckline. So I cut, cut, cut to touch the kimono uh, line. And then I cut. So coming over to the kimono, remember this is the sleeve, the part that entered the one inch, okay? So I just come in here and I'll follow the curvy, curvy, curvy part and I'll cut it down to the hem of the gown, of the top, okay? So this is what we have now, and this is what I expect each and every one of you following this tutorial to have at this moment. You can see that. So it's time for our slash and spread. So to, for our slash and spread, I'm going to come in from the waistline on this side. I'll cut into the waistline to the first dart. Like I earlier said, I'm cutting off the darts. So we'll be able to slash and spread. So this is it that I take it away. So it's time for us to slash and spread. So to slash and spread, I'll come on my slash lines. But I love to write my slash line. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these are my slash lines. So I'll be cutting to the sides but you don't need to cut off you can see that i'll be cutting to the side but please don't cut off okay i joined my paper somewhere here so i'll put it back okay all right so the next one is to slash number four I slash number three. I slash number number two. And on the waistline, I will actually slash. Okay. All right. So I have to arrange because I added my pepper. So I'll just put them back. Okay. So you can see the cuttings I have here. 
okay make sure the cuttings you have here are very close but not cutting off okay this part has to be intact for us to achieve this last line so i come in with what i have here so the next i want to do now is to bring my brown pepper and slash as much as i can i'm slashing as much as i can to achieve that gathered fullness you can you are seeing right there on the screen okay so we have our all our panels right here these are the panels we want to slash and add fullness and we sew back so i'll come in with my piece of uh, pepper right now and i'll slash it open and show you what it looks like 